Properties of addition, the commutative and identity properties. When you combine two or more numbers or quantities, you are using addition. There are two parts of an addition sentence. There is the add-ins, those are the numbers that we're adding together, and there's the sum. The sum is the answer. You can use properties of addition to help you solve addition problems. These properties include the identity property of addition and the commutative property of addition. The identity property of addition. It says the sum of any number and zero is the same number. Any number plus zero is the same number. If you look here, we have six plus zero equals six. And down here we have zero plus nine equals nine. So it's basically like saying if we have six apples and we add zero apples to it, we still have six apples. Or if we had zero cupcakes and then we added nine cupcakes to it, we would have nine cupcakes. All right, let's practice. What number makes this true? We have 14 plus blank equals 14. Well, I hope you said zero because the answer is zero. Okay, here's another one. What number makes this true? 29 plus something equals 29. Again, I hope you said zero because the answer is zero. All right, what number makes this true? Zero plus something equals 47. This time we switched it up. Remember, anytime a number plus zero, you'll get the same number. So the number that goes in the box should be 47. Here's one more for you. What number makes this true? Something plus zero equals 123. That's exactly right. It's 123. The commutative property of addition. Commutative property of addition says changing the order of the add-ins does not change the sum. Moving the add-ins around does not change the sum, meaning you can put the add-ins in any order you want and you'll still get the same answer. For example, 13 plus 11, well that equals 24, and on the other side, 11 plus 13, that also equals 24. So moving the add-ins around does not change the answer, does not change the sum. All right, let's practice this one. What number makes this statement true? 4 plus 7 equals something plus 4. That's exactly right. The answer is 7. Here's another one. What makes this true? 16 plus something equals 21 plus 16. Well, we have a 16 on both sides. And remember, we can change the order of the add-ins to get the right answer. So the, what goes in the box should be 21. Okay, now it's time for a quiz. What you're going to do is you're going to tell me what property of addition is being shown, whether it's the commutative property that says we can move the add-ins around and still get the same sum, or the identity property which says any number plus zero gives us that same number. So here's your problem. 24 plus 12 equals 12 plus 24. Which property is being shown? It is the commutative property. Nice job. Okay, again, what property of addition is being shown? The commutative property or the identity property? We have 24 plus 0 equals 24. If you said the identity property, you were correct. Okay, what property of addition is being shown here? The commutative property, which lets us move our add-ins around, or the identity property, which says any number plus zero is that same number? Here's the problem. Zero plus 37 equals 37. If you said the identity property, you are correct. Okay, which property of addition is being shown in this sentence? 25 plus 36 equals 36 plus 25. And that one was the commutative property. All right, time for a review. There are two parts of an addition sentence. They are the add-ins, which are the numbers that are being combined, and the sum, which is the answer. The properties of addition are the commutative property 
and the identity property. The identity property of addition tells us that the sum of any number plus zero will be that same number. And the commutative property of addition tells us that changing the order of the add-ins does not change the sum. For more third grade teaching ideas and tips, please visit facebook.com slash Mr. Pearson teaches third grade. And please be sure to like this video below and subscribe for more videos. And this has been a Mr. Pearson teaches third grade production.